everyone, welcome back, 365 Days of Clay Cups. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the videos without me blathering on at the beginning, uh, but the, now I'm back, so I'm ready to, I'm ready to talk now. I'm ready to talk. Uh, yesterday's cup fired me up. I really love how it turned out. It looks so good. Um, <laughs> it looks so good for me. It looks so good because it's going to be a usable cup, and I think the glaze will look awesome on the texturing. But today's cup that you're going to see, I did something even different. I'm starting to venture out a little more into my shop. Before it was focusing mostly on the, the shape of the cup. I'm going to still be doing that, by the way. But now I'm starting to think the whole picture, where before I was just thinking of the technique of the cup. Now I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking bigger. I'm thinking what I want to end up with. Since each cup is going to be different, once I want it to be different, I'm, I'm getting more inspired to be more, go, go inside and be a little bit more creative with what I'm doing. So the cup that you're going to see today, I grabbed an underglaze and I did some underglaze on it and while I was assembling it. So you'll get to see that. The only challenge you're going to notice, I'm going to tell you in advance because I noticed it when I was taking the picture of it and it was too late to fix it. But the handle, you know when you put an emblem on the front of a cup, the handle was just slightly, it's straight where it is but not necessarily for the the emblem that's in the center. You'll see it. You'll get what I'm talking about. But uh, I am going to be coming out here later on this afternoon and I'm going to be throwing like a wild thing and I'm so excited uh, to do that. I Yesterday I could not get out here yesterday. It was a humongous storm, wind, rain coming in here as I looked down at my very soggy wet floor, melted some of my boxes of things. I had boxes sitting on the floor which I should know better but Anyway, I'm back and hope you guys are still enjoying the videos. I'm enjoying making them and I'm looking forward to doing some clay today. So let's get started.
kind of funny how your cup can change. Just slip your hand and your cup can change. Wonder, is there anything else you can use with chamois? Can you like chamois the outside? I've never seen anybody chamois the outside, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Let's cut, oops, wait a second, does not look right? That's fine. This is a bisque uh, stamp that I made from a coaster. I just took the coaster and uh, pressed it into it. this little toy. My kids loved this little toy. But then they grew up past the age to use it. And it's even okay if you go over them because it makes it more defined. I almost, I don't mind if it comes off of some of the texture on the front because I am going to take it off the high points. 